Surprising, uh, maybe not surprising to you, how many people watched Canadian Idol and how many people uh, love to follow the careers of the, the alumni from uh, Canadian Idol? J.D. Bixby, happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you. 23 friend. now. It was uh, 17 when you were on Canadian Idol. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a, um, I don't know, kind of like a punch to the face in terms of the business, I imagine. It was just like, boom, holy jumping. And you, I went from uh, working in the back of a McDonald's to... Uh, well, hanging out with a lot of different people. That right. I would have never thought I would met. And yeah, and the thing is, um, I feel like sometimes in country music, you usually would move around in country music circles, but that's an, uh, right off the start of your career. You were with different formats and different styles, too. Yeah, yeah I, didn't, I don't think there was a country artist uh, the year I was on at all. We, we had everybody from uh, Paul Anka to Bon Jovi. So, uh, yeah. Everybody but a country artist. Yeah. So Bon Jovi's the closest you get, I guess. Yeah, well, do you know his, uh, he did that song, Sugar Land stuff. So yeah. yeah. That, that's close. Okay, so uh, a couple of albums uh, in, and now you've got a third. Third time's a charm. Yeah, and it's called, uh, well, the first one was Cow uh, Cowboys and Cadillacs, Easy to Love in 2010. You seem to be on this nice two, three year move, uh, and now we've got uh, uh, a work in progress, yes. right? And on and on's the lead single. I want to talk about why you named it Work in Progress. Uh, well, just basically because a lot of the songs on there is all, they're all tunes that we've been writing throughout the years and mm -hmm. start putting in our back po pockets, waiting for them to be maybe appropriate for me to sing because okay. when you're 17 it doesn't sound too good to be singing about some stuff and even if you're thinking it yeah even if you're thinking <laughs> it <laughs> okay so uh, that's interesting to me because I didn't know that um, I guess I hadn't thought of deeply about it but a songwriter uh, and whether it's collaborative effort or not you you may have something and then it just falls flat or, or you love a piece of it and it's just not going to go anywhere right now yeah just save it wait really wait time time helps everything. Is that right? Yeah, especially so, songs. Yeah. And so it's almost like going through an old picture album for the average person who doesn't write music. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, I remember that. And then does that spark a creative oh. sometimes? Oh, well, absolutely. Especially like the other guys in the band and I will all get together and start talking about some older tours and yeah. get some inspiration. And yeah, and it, I, I think that people often tie, try and... Um, uh, interpret things from your life currently but it's interesting to know that songwriters may not be speaking about currently and I think sometimes they write in character as well yeah yeah you know gosh uh, we've written songs that I wouldn't necessarily sing because they're from a, a female's point of view yeah uh, it just sounds silly for me and you got a new record company yeah new new record out uh, yesterday August 13th yes and uh, it was a great birthday present that's have. nice uh, basically uh, that's what we're doing here. Nice. And do you have new management? And it's uh, actually, I got my new uh, new record company. It's called yeah. Black Sheep Productions. Very nice. So uh, everything's uh, being basically uh, uh, controlled now, and I understand what's going on a bit better. You know, I'm not as naive as a, or yeah. green as I used to be. Well, yeah. that's the thing that uh, you get creative, and you get these artists, and it's not always natural for them to become business people. But it's you got to do it, right? You got to take care of yourself. Absolutely. Nice job. What are we? We're gonna hear on and on the lead single here. On and on. This is it. You got to find this. Yesterday came out, so it's hot. It's hot. hot. It's ready to go. Hot to um, and you want to look for it on iTunes. I think is the yeah. The iTunes is the guaranteed place. It should be in stores by the twentieth. Okay. Uh, HMVs and stuff and whatnot. So. Or if you're me, I have them in my hand. <laughs> 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 All right. Let's hear on and on, ladies and gentlemen. JD Bixby.
Thank you.